We got a doggy over there. We got a doggy over where? Right there in the window. How much is that doggy in the window? Seriously? Hi, I'm Con. And I'm Melinda. And this is Mocha. Follow along as we show the wonders of the world through our dog's eyes. This is Raising Mocha. Now, you have to wait for your window there, Mocha. Okay, so we're staying in Creston, B.C., and there's a ferry to Nelson. Nelson, B.C. Nelson, B.C. We're going to take the ferry over with Mocha and check out Nelson, which is supposed to be, what did you call it, a hippie town? It's supposed to be a hippie town. It's where all the hippies settled. Oh, man. Wow. Yes, that's what the rumor was. Rumor has it, it's full of hippies. But we will check that out and see. Oh, the ferry's just in. Look at that, because there's a whole bunch of cars that just came, so we're going to catch the ferry just in time. Look at that. Oh, uh, you're home. Oh, Isn't it amazing oh, that I forget things and we end up, like, on time, actually? <laughs> the crossing is probably really beautiful. What's the name of the lake? Do you remember? It's Kootenai. Oh, Kootenai Lake. Okay. Where you get the Kootenai the, beer from? No, it's Kokodina. Oh. Kootenai, Kokodina. Same thing, and right? Same thing. Yeah, beautiful scenery around here, though. Just beautiful. Green. Very green right now. Yeah, it is very green. It's been raining um, a lot. Yesterday was pretty rainy. Oh, some Loki, you're fine. But the window's closed. Fine. You need to open the window for me. Anyway, we'll catch you when we get to the ferry. So, see you in a little bit. walk around and got a little coffee shop that has some really nice food, snacks, and there's a little eating area and a little setting area that's quite nice. And he brought me back hot chocolate. Yeah, it's a hot chocolate because it's a kind cool of a day. chilly day. We know officially in Nelson. Is this Nelson, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't have to drive any distance or... Uh, I don't know. I've only been here once. This is an adventure. We're going to check out where we're going and then come right back. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can find a place for Mocha. Go running. Maybe. And off we go. It still amazes me that this is a, a free ferry. Mm -hmm. A 35 minute ride from one side to the other. And they do have two ferries that they run. One breaks down, they have another one. I see the hippie stuff. Yep. Oh, we are here. We gotta go all the way over there. But if he's on leash, you can go in here, right? Nope. Right by the park. No dogs allowed. Not in there. Okay. That's fine. Dogs allowed. Come on, Well, we didn't quite make it to the dog park that we were looking for because uh, the skies are threatening a little bit. Yeah. Uh, there's thunder. There's thunder. Yeah, and that doesn't look very uh, um, friendly. No, it doesn't. The wind is kicking up a little bit, so... so I think it's time to hightail it back to the car. Let's go. Okay. This is a big storm, I think. I think so. I, and we gotta go back on the ferry. Yeah, but the ferry may Ooh. not, hold on, the ferry may not go back during the storm. Oh, great. Not going Yeah, it, it, it just got really dark here all of a sudden. Like, really? I was, it was beautiful. Sunny. 
Yeah. Mocha doesn't care. Nope. All the leaves are coming down too, huh? It's the blossoms, huh? Those Pretty. are the blossoms? Yeah. Those are the blossoms from the trees. Oh, they're seeds. Not blossoms. Oh, they're seeds. Okay. They're seeds, so they're going to replant. Notice how the park vacates rather quickly? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, look how dark the skies are getting. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, well, we're yeah. seconds away from the car. All right, and we're going under a bridge. But we should be fine. Oof. That is very dark. Very dark. Wow. You feel better? Oh. All right, this is a full on <laughs> storm. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Yeah. Oh. Look how that's that, that yeah. yeah that. That's coming down. <laughs> this vacation is not good. I'm glad we were visiting my parents, but So what has it done most of the time? It's rained the whole most of the time we've been here. Oh my goodness. Well, since so it's raining. We're gonna like um, take a pause um, in the sightseeing. It's, it's, it's crazy. I, I mean, we yeah. thought it was beautiful. Well, th that's what happened. It was beautiful. It stopped like it's normal raining and then it, it built it up. You know what? You would think that we brought the rain from the lower mainland up here because what does it do mostly in Vancouver? rains but and what's it doing here raining but it doesn't rain like this in Vancouver this is heavy well sometimes it does but not often yeah yeah okay well I'm gonna go see if there's an A&W yeah we're gonna I'm get hungry. lunch in a drive-thru <laughs> and then maybe we can make it back on the ferry yeah because uh the ferry probably won't operate when it's really windy waters I, it's a ferry well, I'm sure they're used to going back and forth and back We'll just see. We'll you, just see. You, you know, BC Ferries doesn't do it. Like they, they cancel uh, sailings all the time. This is not BC Ferries. This is part of the Ministry of Highways. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Okay. But in the meantime, I'm going to wait until it simmers down before we get on the road because it's pretty heavy. Safety first. That was way too close for me. That was too close. Okay. Well, I could go under the bridge. That'd probably be safer, right? That's metal bridge. But we're safe in the car because we've got four wheels. That's what they say, yeah. Yeah, those are leaves in the in, the, in there are seeds. Isn't that create? Isn't that awesome? That's creative. And then they fly and they'll plant the little trees someplace else, and then little trees will grow up. Those are the babies. Oh, it just stopped. Kicked it off a little bit. They're going under the bridge. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it stopped. Look at that. There's a guy there that was wiping down his car and everything, shining it all out. He's like, oh, this is a perfect day to wash my car. He's the one who did this. He did. He yeah. did this. It, it's all him. It's all him. Look at the old fashioned dairy queen. Wow. <laughs> one bit of Mississippi. City of Mississippi. I think you'd get a lot of rain in this area because we're right in between two mountainsides. Maybe. That's far away. That's the elementary school. That's the kind of school I grew up with. An old fashioned school. On Mississippi, down Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. While we're on our way to A&W for lunch, I thought I'd take a minute to talk about Nelson. In 1886, a copper silver deposit was discovered, leading to Nelson's founding. Initially, it was named Stanley after Lord Stanley, Canada's Governor General at the time, and then later they changed it to Nelson in 1889. One thing I really like about Nelson is the heritage buildings. There's a lot of old buildings, and it reminds me of Montreal, where I grew up. There it is. The train left from railway. Your destination will be on the right. There you go. 
Right. We made it to our destination. Yeehaw, let's get some lunch. Well, Melinda's gone in to freshen up. I figured this was a good time to tell you about this video's sponsor. It is a w for their whistle dog. Just kidding, we're going to get some whistle dogs. That's the reason why we came here. What? To get the whistle dog. Even though we could have gotten it like 20 minutes away from where we're staying, we decided to take a ferry over to Nelson just because. He wants a whistle dog. I have no idea what's in the whistle dog. What's in the whistle dog? Uh, I don't know. I've, you already... I, I've never had it, but. You've never had the whistle dog? I've never had the whistle dog. And we're here getting something you've never had before. Well, it's not the destination, it's the journey. The adventure truth. There uh, is a <laughs> documentary about it online called uh, it's it's a hot dogumentary. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. I can't remember what it's called, but you know. Uh, well, he'll put the link in the description below. I'll mention it in the description. All right. All right. So we're gonna get our whistle dog, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. I got nothing for you, bud. Come so, Con. Now that we're here at A and W. And Mocha's licking my hand. Yuck. What is in the whistle dog that has Mocha so interesting? Yeah, it's um, looks like a hot dog with uh, bacon in the middle. And okay, so basically, oh, this not it does not look like the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> but they cut the uh, the hot dog there, and they put a uh, bacon and cheese. So they essentially use the hot dog as a bun. And? Um, and it's got a Kaiser type hot dog bun. I'm gonna try it for the first time because I've never had one of these. Not even when you were a child? No, no, I, I, I was a child a long time ago and I don't think they had it. <laughs> so, the whistle dog and um, it's been brought back recently and they made a whole documentary about it and they tied it in as a promotion, so I'm gonna try it. Here we go. It tastes like a hot dog. Look at that. <laughs> I don't really get it, but here we go, whistle dog. I think the appeal to this um, and why it's so popular and such a big thing is a and traditionally sells only burgers and uh, they didn't have a hot dog on the menu. So this is bring back the hot dog on the menu. That makes sense. Summer, hot dog, summer. It's not, it's pretty good. All right. are all lush and green right now. Last year at this time I think uh, the fire risk was really high and everything was really dried out. Hopefully it carries on through the summer and we don't have as many fires. That would be really, Oh, that would be wonderful. That would be a really nice thing. a little break with his little head hammock. Are you relaxed there, bub?
got 20 minutes. Is it cycling routes or something? I've got it's cycle tours. Wow. Uh, wow. It's Holy crap. You want a bike? Five to seven day journey. That might be car. Yeah, that's a lot of cycling, I, I think. I don't think so. 783 no. miles. No, thanks. Yeesh. That's Maybe on an electric bike. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But not for you, honey. <laughs> no, we're not doing cycling no more. Not, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see what happened, she'll point in the direction of the video and I will post it. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not cycling. Ah, no, we still have the scars to prove it. Literally. Sand and ducks. Oh, is that the ferry coming in? I think it is. That boat coming in. Oh, here he digs. Here's digging, hon. Oh, his favorite thing to do. Yeah, they still have to offload it, but uh, that's the ferry coming in that we're getting on to go back. When we get a house, we definitely have to get a sandbox for our dog. Not for the grandchildren, for our dog. Yep, just for him. Just for Moki, a sandbox. The Kootenai Ferry opened on October 1963. It was built by the Kootenai Ferry Builders. Fun fact, it is the world's longest free ferry route, which is 8.8 .8 kilometers or 5.47 miles and takes 35 minutes. The ferry we are on today holds 80 vehicles and 250 passengers, and it has been in service since the year 2000. One thing I found is that boarding was very quick and they are so organized. We were on and off within a matter of minutes.